Hi, Mark Renford here. I'm here to talk about the Enabling Technologies brand new Braille Embosser, the Cyclone. It's a single sided Braille Embosser. I work for Microcomputer Science Center. We've uh, been in business helping people in the special needs community since 1981. So we've got a lot of experience in the embossing market and in general. I'll give you some of my our contact information at the end of the video in case you want to contact us or if you have any other questions. What I'll do is I'll talk a little bit about my setup for now. <clears throat> what I've got over here is a wireless laptop. And on this laptop, I'm running Duxbury version 11.2. I have the a two user server version of it. So I can install the Duxbury on all the workstations and up to two people at a time can use it. So it's very nice for our corporate environment. And I've also got the Enabling Technologies Firebird graphics software, which allows me to emboss graphics on the Cyclone as well as just regular text documents. And this is the Cyclone Braille Embosser, brand new. And I've got it connected up to our network with a network patch cable. It's not wireless, but I've got it hooked up to our network so we can print from anywhere. I don't have to unplug it and plug it into the computer systems. It does have a, a USB port if you want to use it locally on the workstation as well. Now many of you may be used to uh, older embossers that either have menu systems on the embosser itself or a keypad menu system. Uh, those come basically from the DOS days before Windows where you had to set up everything on the embosser before you sent your document over to be embossed. Uh, embossers generally haven't changed very much since way back 10-15 years ago until now, until with the Cyclone. With the Cyclone you'll notice there's no keypad there's only three buttons on this cyclone. So on, on the cyclone we have the T, which is top of form, it will find the top of form, the O for online offline, and the F for form feed or for view. Three buttons, no complicated menus to try and remember or where you need the manual for. One of the other key features with this embosser is it feeds from the rear to the front. Most previous versions of the embossers fed from the front to the back. It may have been easier to load the paper on, but if the embosser was against the wall, quite often you'd have to stand there to make sure the paper didn't get jammed in the embosser. With this one, you load the paper in at the back, put the box of paper at the back, and it feeds up through the front so there's very little chance of it jamming as long as the front is, is free. So to load the paper on, I'm just going to press it through so it comes down a little bit there. Put on the tractor feeds like you've any normal braille embosser. And then I'm just going to press the T button here, top of form. Finds the top of form, LED goes green, and we're set to go. So I'm going to emboss the document from our Duxbury system here. So what I'll do is I'll first show you, here's the setup for the Brailler. It's a very nice, easy to see menu system. Here I choose what embosser, I'm choosing the Cyclone. Paper size, left margin, right margin, top of form offset. Just click this button to set up the embosser, and the embosser is all set. Very nice, easy to use rather than a complicated menu system on the embosser itself. So I'll do emboss the document from Duxbury. I'm just going to go to emboss. Click OK. And it starts. So anytime that's embossing, I press the F button for view. It shoots the paper out so you can read what it's embossing. Make sure it's doing what you want. Press the F key again, goes right back to where it left off, and continues the box. Finished embossing, I'll take it offline. Press the form feed button so it shoots the paper out. Rip off the paper, press the T button, top of form. 
paper back in, it's ready to go again. So, in the summary, some of the key features of this embosser is no longer any complicated menu system, just three buttons on it. The paper feeds from back to front, nice, and it comes with Firebird graphics software, so you can emboss graphics onto it, and it looks nice. It's a nice blue color, nice rounded shape compared to previous versions of embossers, which would be a lot square. If you want to contact us for any information, you can go to our website at www.microscience.on.ca or you can email info at microscience.on.ca. Thank you.